Our next guest knows his way around a grill better than anyone. Stephen Reichlin is a James Beard Award-winning author who creates a world of flavors through cooking techniques and creative seasonings. His latest book is Barbecue, Sauces, Rubs, and Marinades. Barbecue Hall of Famer Stephen Reichlin joins us by satellite from New York. Good morning, Stephen. Good morning, Cheryl. Good to see you. I understand you have a connection to us here in Richmond. Yeah, my, apparently my great-grandfather opened the first movie theater in Richmond, so uh, I love talking to you. But at any rate, we're here to talk not movies, but something equally cinematic, and that is barbecue, rubs, sauces, and marinades. These are the building blocks of great barbecue. And it starts with a barbecue rub. Okay, let's start with the rub. These are ways of infusing and adding flavor to our foods. Exactly. So. Here's the basic rub, I call this 4-4 rub or Reichland's rub, equal parts salt, pepper, paprika, and brown sugar. Now you can customize this, maybe you want to use hot paprika instead of sweet paprika, or smoked salt instead of conventional salt. Once you have your rub ready, you sprinkle it on the meat before it goes on the grill or in the smoker. And then you kind of massage it into the meat, that's why it's called a rub. So how do we know that when we should use a rub, when we should use a marinade, when we should use a sauce? Well, one very easy rule of thumb is when you're cooking a fatty meat like ribs, use a dry rub. When you're cooking a lean meat, it tends to dry out on the grill, like let's say a pork chop or chicken breast, that's a good time to use a wet rub or a marinade. A wet rub is a thicker, like a spice paste marinade, a little bit more liquid, liquidy. Often there's lemon juice and uh, olive oil in a marinade. But these help keep lean foods moist on the grill. In terms of the barbecue sauce, this, by the way, this sauce is called Smoke Wrangler's Barbecue Sauce. Believe it or not, there actually is a job called a smoke wrangler. He's the guy that builds and fuels the smokers on my TV show, Project Smoke. Uh, this is a basic tomato-based barbecue sauce. But look what I do. I add some cooked bacon, mm. which gives you a smoke flavor, and then a shot of bourbon, because bourbon makes all things barbecue taste better. The important thing to understand about a barbecue sauce is it goes on at the end of cooking. If you take a look at the ribs here, the way you tell they're cooked, you see how the meat has kind of shrunk back from the ends of the bones? Mm -hmm. Okay, that tell you, tells you that the ribs are cooked, so it's at this moment, sort of the last five minutes of cooking, that you apply the barbecue sauce. Why at the end? Because barbecue sauces very often uh, contain sugar, and you don't want the sugar to burn before the meat is cooked. Yeah, because like you said, that sugar there, and we all want to slather it right at the beginning, but like anything, timing is That's everything, right? That's the wrong right? time. <laughs> That's right. That's the wrong time, yep. What about the uh, marinade? You know what it's all about, Cheryl? It's all about layering the flavors. You have your rub, you might base this with garlic butter while the ribs are cooking, you apply the barbecue sauce at the end, and then when you take a bite of those ribs, as you guys know so well in Virginia, you're tasting multiple layers of flavor. And the other key to, to great barbecue is using the right tools, right? Absolutely, tools, very important. Uh, and also, don't underestimate the importance of, uh, of wood smoke, okay? Smoke is the soul of barbecue, so you want to use hickory, you want to use oak or cherry, add it in the form either of wood chips or chunks added to your fire. Well, thanks so much for talking to us today. I enjoy watching your, your programs all the time. I learn a lot from you. Stephen, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you, Cheryl. Barbecue sauces, rubs, and marinades available wherever books are sold. All right. And it's a great read, and it tastes good. Stephen Reichlin joining us today. Now, I'll send it over to you.